Water Romance chapter with Magi203. I'm not gonna lie, this chapter has me smiling because I've been in Alibaba's shoes once or twice in my life, especially when I was a lot younger. I can remember back when I was like 13 and 14 and just being in those type of positions where it's like, you see a homie and he has his girl and you kind of like jealous and you're like, oh, fuck them, man. They always lovey dovey around me. Fuck them. And then your homie comes and says, well, you know, Sarah around the corner has the hots for you. I, I see y'all together, so I'm assuming, you know, that's your chick. And you're like, Nah, you don't know what you're talking about. Me and Sarah, we just cool, yo. You don't know what you're saying, dog. That behind closed doors, like, oh my god, Sarah has the house for me, yo. So I totally understand Alibaba's situation, and I kind of enjoy chapters like this because even though it doesn't give progression towards the story much, aside from like the revolving relationship between the two of them, but I mean, even in that aspect, it wasn't big progression either because it's just really, you know, Alibaba and Morgiana and Aladdin are gonna be together for the most part for a long time, so it wasn't really something that needed to be stated over and over again. For the most part in this chapter, I don't feel like it went in a relationship direction like Alibaba's thinking. I think Alibaba thinks, oh shit, this is my girlfriend now, but Morgiana was looking at it more like, I just want to be around you guys, you know, I want to be friends with you forever, I don't want to be separated from you guys, and he's thinking like, she's confessing her feelings, she must really love me, we're gonna be together forever, so it's funny with a misunderstanding there, and I'm curious to see if it's going to go any further after this or it's just going to be said as that and Alibaba's going to continue thinking that's my girlfriend and they're going to just have this big weird misunderstanding or something. I don't know. It, it was just a funny chapter for the most part. It was interesting. You know, at the end of the day, the manga cut, I, I believe, is a female from Agi. I think that this is her just getting off, you know, her female ways. She just wants to write about a little bit of romance and stuff like that, and I enjoy chapters like this. It isn't the best. It isn't something that is like, oh my god, I can't believe the plot went this way, but it's just something funny and chill, and I enjoyed it, and if she is trying to stretch some stuff out on the ship or whatever, trying to like just play around a little bit while they're on the ship, because I think she likes to make it seem like real time, like yeah, it's not just one chapter, and then they're there just skipping around, you know, from place to place. I think uh, she's doing a decent job with it with giving us some entertainment at the very least because, you know, if you don't have plot developing, character developing, crazy shit like that, then at least give us some entertainment. And I think uh, definitely it was delivered because I was very interested with this chapter. Again, wasn't a great one, but it was pretty fucking exciting. And I guess there's not really much to critique with it other than the fact that I know that this is just going to be like one kind of one-sided misunderstanding because I don't think more Gianna's thinking that this is my boyfriend now. Oh, this is my man. I think she's more so thinking like, yay, I'm going to really be able to be around them forever because they're going to be great and I don't want to be left behind. While Alibaba's like, yo, this is my girl, man. This is my shorty. So it's going to be funny to see how things turn out from here on after because it's like, now Alibaba's gonna be thinking a little bit more like protective over her and at the same time more lovey dovey. I wonder if he goes in for a kiss if Morgiana will like kick him in the fucking face or something. That's something that'll be hella interesting to see. But overall, chapter, uh, I give this one maybe like, I wanna say five and a half, six out of ten because it wasn't a bad chapter or anything. It just really wasn't like something story progressive mainly or something like that. And it was just really the manga having a little bit of fun and I had an enjoyment out of it as well and it's just nice to see, um, the more romance aspects in the manga, because a lot of shonen manga, they tease and flirt so slightly with stuff like this. It's like, you know, with your Naruto's, you get Hinata, Naruto, little Sakura throw in there, but damn it, it's gone out the wind. Uh, same thing with a lot of other different manga, but you never really get more diving into it, and with this, it's like, even though it's still a little kind of comedic misunderstanding in some form or fashion, it still is some good stuff, and it's some entertaining stuff, and it's gl I'm glad that they make it seem a little more real, like people do develop feelings for people people that they're around and they think that are cute and, you know, they just uh, find attractive. And it's actually moving forward. It's not something that is like, want to keep dancing around it for two, three, four, five hundred chapters. So I enjoy stuff like this. I'm going to give this one a six out of ten. I think that it was fine. I think that as far as the characters' relationships go, this was a good step in the right direction so that at least Alibaba has a clear understanding where he stands with uh, Morgiana, although, again, he's misunderstanding it in a way. It's like, he understands he has feelings for her and he likes her, but it's a misunderstanding that he thinks he's in a real relationship. That's what I'm getting anyway. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. Maybe Morgiana does feel like, yeah, we're in a relationship, but I think the way she was crying and everything was just mainly like, yay, I'm gonna be with them together forever. So, that's just my take on it, but again, I'm gonna give this one a fine. It was 6 out of 10. Uh, it was just enjoyable to see the characters more like interact in a real way fashion of like yeah man i kind of have feelings for her and stuff like that let me know what you think 
Were you upset by this? Did you want to see some pairings elsewhere? Do you want to see maybe more Gianna with that one guy from her same race or something like that? Or did you want to see Alibaba with um, that, <laughs> that one girl from the very beginning that looks like a dude the giant beak looking? <laughs> I'm, I'm trolling. But yeah, that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for awesome romance because I think that uh, I like chapters like this where it really... It just gives you something more of a real world feel and it's good to get something like that once in a while. It humanizes the manga a bit. I'm for that world and as always people, have an awesome day. Alibaba don't get carried away with that more Jonas. She might kick you in the nuts.